Hey guys, just yesterday, November 4th, Old School RuneScape has announced that they are planning on introducing some changes to their economy. They are looking at introducing a grand exchange tax and an item sink into the game, as well as a few other gold sinks. So in this video, I will be explaining how this will work and the implications I think it will have on the RuneScape economy. Also, while this is only announced for old school right now, I could definitely see a system like this introduced in RuneScape 3 as well. So I do want to talk a little bit about how I think that might work. First off, the RuneScape economy, both in old school RuneScape and RuneScape 3, are some of the most successful and integrated economies that you can find in any video game. The Grand Exchange allows players to buy and sell items from each other, which also allows players to determine what value an item has. As explained in the old school RuneScape news post, item prices are dictated by players and they are fluctuated based on the number of coins available in the game. So essentially this means that if there is more gold coming into the game than there is leaving, we will in experience inflation. So the value of the gold will fall and the items will cost more to compensate. And this has been a major problem with RuneScape's economy for years. We have been getting so many new bosses coming to the game, especially in RuneScape 3. Um, and with each new boss, it does offer a large sum of coins as one of their drops, as well as additional alkables, which is just bringing in more GP into the game. Now, each time a player obtains one of these drops or alks some of the alkable items, the value of coins drops along with it. Also, if the demand for an item goes up, the price will rise. So if the supply of an item is higher than demand, the prices go down. That is basically how the RuneScape economy has been working. Now lately, the economy in both RuneScape 3 and Old School have been experiencing some pretty serious inflation problems. Item prices have been going through the roof. In RuneScape 3 alone, there have been multiple items go over the max cash price of 2.147 billion coins, such as items like the Eldritch Crossbow, the new tier 95 weapons like the Fractured Staff of Armadil, a Zuck Sword, as well as numerous other unique items like Party Hats. Now Jagex, they have recognized this issue and they have proposed a plan to counteract the economy's inflation, at least in old school by introducing the Grand Exchange Tax, item sinks, as well as a few gold sinks. The Grand Exchange Tax system that they have proposed is a 2% tax on the final sale value of an item. So the seller would be the one who ends up paying this tax. Also, if you are selling items in bulk, this tax would apply to each item or essentially the total sale value of the trade. Now this tax system will help remove gold from the game, therefore helping to increase the value of coins in the game, um, meaning items should end up costing less coins or at least not increase in value as fast. Now the old school team is also proposing an item sink as well. So instead of just deleting the coins obtained from this grant exchange tax, they are thinking of using a percentage of these coins to buy back certain items on the grant exchange and delete those items from the game. Now this is a pretty interesting idea, but it would have two different effects. First of all, the main effect that it would have is that it would decrease the supply of whichever item they decide to buy. This would help increase the price of said item. Currently, the old school team has listed a few items that they are planning on doing this with, um, including the spectral and arcane shields, nightmare staffs and orbs, the twisted bow, god swords, and the list goes on. Now, while I was researching each of these items, I noticed that a lot of them are more of the older items in old school. They are items that have been slowly declining in value over time because, of course, the supply of these items have been increasing the game as more and more players are obtaining these items from Bossing and Slayer. Now, for RuneScape 3, I could see these items being things like all the God Wars 1 unique drops, maybe even including the next drops. Noxious Weaponry is another few items that we have seen drop in value over time. 
I could see uh, this as a possible item that they might want to buy back with the tax if this does come into RuneScape 3. Uh, maybe even God Wars 2 uniques, um, more so just that older gear or PVM drops that we have seen drop in value. Now these are all items that have been in the game for a while now and they have seen a decline in price over the years due to oversupply. And while this item sync does decrease the supply of certain items, which is its intention, it also does counteract part of the Grand Exchange tax as it is reintroducing the coins that were taxed back into the game. Now in the news post, the team did mention that they would have a limit on the amount of items that they would buy back in a day, and there would be quite a few limits and restrictions on this. Overall, this system would give developers more control with the economy and keeping items at a reasonable price. Jagex is also looking at adding more bank space to old school, except the additional bank space will have to be purchased at the actual in-game bank for coins. Now the price for each increment of 40 bank slots becomes increasingly more expensive as you buy more. In order to buy the whole 300 additional bank slots, it will cost you 888 million coins in old school, uh, with the first 40 bank slots only costing 1 million coins and the last 40 costing 500 million coins. Now, this would account for a pretty large gold sink, especially if players buy all of the bank slots. Another thing to keep in mind when comparing this to RuneScape 3 is that old school has much less coins in the game. So 500 million coins, it is a lot of money. And comparing it to RuneScape 3, for example, you could think of 500 million coins as being worth about 3.7 billion coins in RuneScape. And I just get this number by looking at the price of bonds since they are in both games and act in a similar way. So the price of a bond in old school is around 5 million coins, whereas it is about 37 million in RuneScape 3, which is about a 7 times difference. So all I am saying here is that if this concept of buying extra bank slots for GP came into RuneScape 3, we could probably expect it to cost billions of coins to buy all of the slots. The other thing the old school team is looking at adding is literal gold sinks for player owned houses. So decorative items could be bought for a large sum of coins that could then be placed in your player owned house as a way to show off your wealth. Now this is definitely a great idea since it does give rich players a new way to spend their money and show off their wealth while also removing coins from the game. In RuneScape 3, this probably wouldn't work since the player-owned house uh, content is dead, which is a topic for another day, but the idea of adding some sort of gold sink, whether that be buying extra bank spaces, buying titles, or adding new shops, similar to the traveling merchant where you can buy random items like death touch darts for 5 million, this is a really good idea and I would like to see them do something like this. Anyway, those are all of the ideas that the old school team have announced in terms of helping with old school's economy. I do think these ideas are excellent and something that should definitely be added into the game. Inflation has been a major problem for a while now for both games and this is definitely something that can combat that. Now, all this being said, it looks like this is going to be added to old school, so it will be nice to see how it does perform and how it does change the economy, but nothing has been announced for RuneScape 3 yet. While I do think that these concepts would be a nice addition to RS3 to help the inflation problem with the economy, it may never be added. RuneScape 3 is much different than old school RuneScape, especially since it has one of the major item sinks in Invention. So we will have to wait and see if something like this will be added to RuneScape 3. But in the meantime, let me know what your thoughts are on adding a Grand Exchange tax and these golden item sinks. Personally, I definitely am a fan of adding these things, and I really do think it might help the inflation problem that we are seeing in RuneScape. 
Anyway, guys, I really hope you found the video interesting, and I look forward to reading all of your comments about the topic, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.